It's just a one-on-one -on -one today, so. <laughs> Y'all guys ready? Holy Jesus. Yeah, no, we're So, just first off, that first half was amazing shooting. Just uh, what was working for you guys during that half and uh, kind of what did you all, what kind of talk about in the halftime? Um, I think in that first half, we just had, everyone had a lot of confidence. We just came out really ready and everybody had just been working really hard. So we just came out ready and shot really well and it worked out for us. Were you surprised that the shots just kept falling? Vivian, I know you've had, you've had problems with confidence when the day they don't fall, but they just kept falling. Would that help, how that help, help your confidence going into the half? Um, it definitely helped. I mean, I've been struggling. I think a lot of us have been struggling, but um, today was kind of a breakthrough. We all shot pretty well, so I think that's a good for all of us. Now, in the second half, what do you got to try to do to you know, keep you know, getting through those shooting pains because it kind of dropped off a bit, especially in the fourth quarter? Um, we just got to keep going, just push through it. I mean, everybody has their shooting good, good times, good, bad times, so just got to keep shooting, just try to get your shot back. Just keep going. Rex, defensively, what problems were they causing you in the second half? Because they were making a lot more threes, making it a lot tougher on you in that second half. I think mainly what it was was we just um, were getting beat on the drive, which allowed for help to come over and kick out threes. And we knew that that was something that they wanted to do, so we just kind of got to work on you know, getting down and handling our time for the player that we have of our own, making sure they don't get to the basket and that doesn't happen. I know you've been here since uh, Cleeton's been here the whole time. How nice was it to see her actually go out there? She's been here two years. This is the first time yeah. she actually gets to come play. Yeah, that's so great for her. Everybody's so happy for her. It was like a nerve-wracking thing just because, you know, obviously it's been a hard time, like, battling for her, and you just, like, want her to do so amazing. It's the first time her coming back, obviously, in two years and off of two big injuries. So it was nerve-wracking, but it's so exciting, and it's just, like, nice to see her out there and nice to see her happy and that she got to play. After a game like this, how do you try to keep, you know, keep up this momentum going into the next game and then eventually conference play is only you know, about 14 days away now? Yeah, uh, just keep working, honestly. we got a couple things we need to work on. Obviously, our second half wasn't that bad, but it wasn't that bad, but it wasn't that great, and it can definitely get better. So just keep working and trying to figure out what we need to do to get better to face all of the big teams that we got coming up and all the teams in the conference. That's all I got. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs> Sounds like me. <laughs> well, uh, about as good as we could be in the first half, and um, second half uh, didn't play very well, you know. And I think that's sometimes just our maturity level right now as a basketball team. But uh, very impressive the first half. I think we showed signs of what we're capable of doing and uh, our defense was really good. Uh, our shot selection was really good and then we got the big lead and uh, didn't guard very well in the second half and our shot selection wasn't very good at all. So uh, if I would have started the night against ORU and said I could get a 20 point win, I would have felt very very good about it. So we'll go to Christmas break, get some time off, enjoy families and friends and come back and get to work, uh, you know, for Grambling on the 30th. That first half offensively is probably one of the best I've seen from this team. Did you go into halftime, did you say, see, this is what I've been telling you guys, if you get these right shots and they fall, this is the team you can be, this is the potential you have? Well, we knew that, that we got a lot of the right pieces to the puzzle with this team, and we're still – we still need another recruiting class, quite honestly, to, to be where we want to be. But uh, uh, against their spread zone, I thought we were really good. Uh, got the ball where we needed to. Broke the defense down at the high post by getting it to Vivian. Uh, Cassie DeLapp did so many good things in the first half and and uh, hedge ball screens and uh, and then uh, was very impressive on the offensive boards. But I, I thought our whole crew played well the first half, and then we lost an edge uh, going into the second half. And, uh, you know, but it's still a 20-point win. Uh, 
we're we're going to break at eight and two with losses against two good teams. So uh, we're excited about where where we are right now and where we're headed. Cassie's play, especially getting the putbacks. How nice is that to see her be physical like that and keep getting to the line over and over again? Well, we just, uh, you know, I pointed at her before the game and I said I need six points off of putbacks, and she evidently took it to heart. But she's a she's a good athlete and and got good feet and good hands around the basket. And you know, we probably need to start throwing the ball inside to those two kids a little bit more and and developing them. But uh, uh, it was good to see her and. Uh, our freshmen grow as as the season progresses, and uh, it's it's always a process with uh, with some young kids. But uh, she had a really good night, and I thought uh, when we took off, she did so many good things on the boards and and defensively that it was a difference in the game. With Cleeton coming in, just how nice is that? She's been here so long for two years, and it's the first time she actually gets to go out, go on the court. You know, I've been uh, I've been in this for 41 years now, and maybe the sweetest kid that I've ever coached. Good heart, great teammate, always a smile on her face. Has gone through two very serious knee surgeries, and uh, just kept working and and uh, working and and doing individual work. And I was just happy to see her get out there. She did some nice things, but. Just, she's waited for two years. She loves basketball, and she had the opportunity to play. It was a good night. Well, yeah, Coach. All right. Merry Thanks. Christmas to everybody.